they're, they're not they're not at fault but what i'm trying to do is to yeah, make you understand the mindset that they're in they do not in my opinion hate the other group what they are is they hate the change and unfortunately, I think they do hate so, so, no, the reason I, I've, let me seen, say, I've been on the demos let me say as an observer, right, so, and I've seen the way they speak about Muslims. They right, hate Muslims. All right, so let me say something. I do believe you. Out of all the groups, they do dislike Islam. And the reason now, I'm not saying this is right. The reason I've got from the way the reason they like Islam is is because Islam is something that is very very forceful in its way of life. It's hard to compromise with Islam. So I'll give you an example. Like when you go to a sea carrier and there's a lot of Sikhs that suddenly come down, the area will still have some remnants of its Britishness in terms of stuff here. Yeah, it's quite liberal, there's the women we walk around a certain way, the pubs are still open, but we Sikhs should not be drinking. I've not drank for six years, stop drinking Sikhs. Uh, so alcohol is bad as well, I agree with Islam on that. So basically, so, yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah. You think I'm not gonna get I thought he was a Muslim, bro? I thought he was a Muslim. Yeah, I know, he's from Afghanistan, you know. A Sikh from Afghanistan? Oh yeah, gosh. so this is the thing. They used to, just to offer, but there used to be 100,000 Sikhs in Afghanistan. Now there's only 600. Yeah. And that country's been occupied and brutally terrorized yeah. by Western armies for the last 20 years? All right. So uh, let's, uh, we, we can talk. But the thing is, when it comes to this situation, when you go to an area of a Hindu area, there's still a lot of remnants of what you call British culture. But when you go to, even I've seen it, when I've gone to a predominantly Muslim area, it is very Islamic, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it yes, is. You are. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying subtext that. Subtext of what you're saying. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying from from these supporters' view, when they go into these areas, it's so alien to them that I don't feel like an alien when I go to an area that is very Islamic, because no, I, I'm I, I used want to distinguish it. two no, things. I'm not, no, I'm not saying that, that I agree with that. I want to distinguish between the issues to do with immigration into mm. the United Kingdom yeah. and the effect it has on the indigenous communities and the tensions and so on. All that is what you know. That may be the case. Yeah. That is one thing, and, and that's a different subject as far as I'm concerned. I'm talking about Tommy Robinson and his like, who inciting hatred against Muslims, in effect calling for to us to attack them, because obviously if you portray them as such a danger, and such a threat to us, Someone you're yeah, calling, yeah, yeah, you're calling for us to attack guilty. them. No, no, yeah. so, me, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, come in, man, come I'm in. You. you might as well come I'm, in as well, th This immigration debate doesn't lead to us uh, approving of the language of no-go zones, oh, yeah. of, of the lies that he's propagating. Mm. So that's a separate issue. Yeah. The, the immigration is such a valid debate, we can have that, it's a different subject. Yeah. I'm talking about those who incite hatred, extremists, the far-right extremists, yeah. uh, like Tommy Robinson and his crew, who are inciting hatred, and that it does incite some people to kill people, like we've seen in Christchurch. That's what I'm talking about. These other issues are valid, they're real, they're genuine, but they're not the point we're talking about today. They don't lead to Christchurch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They but just but lead to all sorts of But, 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 but like, I'm, like I'm saying to you is that the, the poor way the here to kind of like, like if you, you want to, if you want Tommy Robinson to go, you don't t attack Tommy Robinson. I want to be arrested and thrown in jail saying, what because what he's, saying, he's, 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 he's a hate what, preacher. No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, that he shouldn't be walking around on, the streets. On, this is very simplistic because another Tommy Robinson will come. He will just be replaced. So what I'm saying to you, in order for Tommy Robinson here yeah, or uh, somebody like him here. Yeah, to kind of go from the public platform is to address the the people that support him. What are their concerns? And some of their concerns may be irrational, like the no-go zone is. Some of their concerns might be legitimate, that their way of life is changing in certain ways. But you need to speak to them. Once you can educate those people, this is why I say- I'm happy to speak to them. So I'm saying- But having them. concerns about your, your environment changing does not equal inciting hatred against- No, 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 no. I don't, I'm not saying that. And that's what I'm saying. These are two separate issues. But, it, but be concerned, but don't let your concern translate yeah, but into attacking how, But how do you defeat you that? Go, you go, to, it's very easy. Yeah. We live in a parliamentary democracy. You go to your MP, you used to have a parliament, you form parliament, you have discussions, you don't attack people. No, no, so, so, what I'm... What we didn't, we didn't no, so, one, one, one of the things... Change is, the system, what, get people elected. Yeah, so one of the things I've been do. accused of is like, oh, you bring the far right down by certain individuals and all that kind well, of stuff. You do, you're, you're allied to a far and right do, no. Oh, look who's here. No, you do. All right, right, Are you right. going to deny it? Hold on, hold on, no, but it's going to be fair. Can I just finish my sentence, man? Come on, look at me, so I'm getting in. Just hate the Irish Republic, you know? You haven't got it yet. You can't start taking control of me. He's good at the he said, he, said, he, said, he, said, he said I'll be a traitor, I'll be put to the wall. So there's a wall here, where's the, where's the, where's the peace you shooter? Um, so let me just say something, let me say something. Yeah, down to India, you third world country. Uh, so basically, yeah, third world, third world, I've explained before. So basically, yeah, when it comes to this uh, situation about these people coming down, I truly, shut your mouth. Um, so when it comes, I'm a Punjabi, you're an Indian. This is why India got conquered by one freaking 
Indian. Like you and you. Someone like you with a samosa in his hand. And a pakora in his pocket. We all can't so eat basically, baked beans. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I love baked beans. We've got a baked bean crew. Um, let me just say something. So I like baked beans. Do you have something in common? We like baked beans. I eat them every day. Oh my god. Uh, it can't be any crappy baked beans. It's going to be Heinz baked beans. You do know I've eaten baked beans for 25 years every day. You're a you are you're a British one, sir. You are you're a British citizen. You're yeah, truly that, British. That's you what like we baby. that's what we need to have in a national. Do you drink tea? No, I don't drink uh, tea. So, so, there, so, so the thing is that one thing I like when yeah. like you may not like these guys coming down, but I truly believe having these individuals coming down is a good way to weed out the good from the bad. Now if they people are truly genuine, when they speak to an individual and they're kind of challenged on their views and they're given information and they still don't change their view, then those are the people that are a problem and we can disassociate. Uh, so the people are the right guys in the So they, 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 these far right guys have been down here, we have spoken to them. Listen, and it's like talking to a real yeah. brick wall. They don't oh, yeah, we got the road girl. No, it's not about road girl. Oh, yeah. well done for losing some weight as well, man. Thank you, mate. Banksy, but you that's need to be fat. That brick. is besides the point here. Banksy needs to lose weight. I don't know why he's talking about losing weight for. I'm telling Banksy. On um, camera as well. well that's what I'm saying to you. I'm but, but I agree well. with your you point, sir, Ooh. when you're talking about Paul, the Paul. Paul, yeah, about the white uh, supremacists, that their rhetoric and their ideology is enough to cause people to get killed. Right? We do have extremism on both sides, yeah. but recently what's been happening is on the right wing side, the attacks have been coming, you they've been happening Sorry. more. You right? yeah. And especially here yeah. in the UK. Right, we're supposed to be in this liberated country, you know, we're supposed to be free, people have to be free to express their religion. Why is it now that Muslims are getting run over? Muslim, Muslim mosques are being attacked because of people like Tommy Robinson. And I'm, do you support Tommy Robinson, by the way? I still align with Tommy Robinson up to a point. Uh, I am questioning some... Yes, some hold on, well, I, I'm going to say something again. No one's going to tell me what to do. Well, I'm not telling you what no, to do. Saying, you you what with, not so what, so what I'm saying to you, as of now... Stop supporting the far right! I'll stop supporting the far right when you drop that samosa or eat it, you little prick. Oh. So basically, when it comes oh. to um, when it comes to the situation with Tommy Robinson, yeah, um, you have this situation that look, I do feel uncomfortable now listening back to some videos that I've not watched for a while. Like the, these are enemy combatants. I'm gonna condemn that. I will say what about he, when you refer to the Asian man? Yeah, and, yeah, and I, I, I was said the other week that I found that offensive. So there are certain things that I know are problematic when it comes to Tommy Robinson. But I need to make my own decision. Hold on. I know. Look. So what I'm saying to you is that most people will never meet him. I have the opportunity to meet him sometimes. So I will make my decision. Yeah. I will make my decision when um, I speak to him and ask him a particular questions. And if I feel that he's been disingenuous or he's saying things that I feel are like condoning violence, but then I yes. I think he's very but clear. I think he's very clear. No, 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 no it's clear to you. No, no, I think he's, he's, he's a racist bigot. It's, it's clear very to you. clear. It's clear to you. Why did Tommy clear. Robinson come to the park in the first place? Because to be that speak, who was Martin Selna? My son is a racist Nazi. Right. And what does he believe in? He believes in the white Great replacement. replacement. Yeah. yeah. And he read out his speech. Yeah. And generation identity is something I don't agree with. It's just what the terrorists in, ch in Christchurch, Christchurch, he believes exactly the but, same. But, you read the manifesto. But, it's the same as what generation identity believes. But, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that he, right. well, my son <laughs> should have been allowed to speak. So I supported his right to speak. Yeah, and this is and I, and I, no, it's not nonsense. It's nonsense to you. Just, just get yourself island, man, for God's sake. Just go over there and start getting Ireland. I don't know what you're here for, man. No, no, he's got very Why don't you go to Ireland and try and get a United Ireland? That would appeal to your far right. Yeah, just go over there. I'll get a cat pole and shoot you over with Andrew Chowdhury. So basically, you take him, man. You can work with it. So basically, let's stick to the point So basically, when it comes... Tommy Robinson is a racist bigot who incites hatred, who incites violence against Muslims. That is very, very clear cut. Now, moving forward, how can we tackle this issue? Because this is not continuing to... This can't continue to happen. Because innocent people are getting caught Right, so this is what we were talking well about. Done, well done. This is what we were talking about. How do we? How do we? Look, Tommy. How do we? You publicly hold disassociate. Hold That's hold how. No, 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 no. You're not going to make me because you have a big following. Hold on. So they will learn. Hold on. You are no longer tolerate him. Hold on. But you, you're not dissociating with me. So you tolerate him. Hold on. That he's I, okay to do. Let me just let me just say something to the camera. Publicly disassociate. I don't care if there's 50 million people telling me something to do. I will make my own decision. Yeah, well, hurry I'm up not, so, no, nothing will hurry up. If I take you 50 <laughs> years, I'm not lying. 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 I'm not lying
we cannot get to a point which people are getting to unfortunately where you are now dehumanizing each other to the point that the some, some the, the white people are starting to see the muslims as enemy combatants or people that are uh, like a virus in the UK and not part of the UK, and we need to start. Because allied to someone who does that. Right? <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on Let's go to the source. Why is there tension between the West and Muslims? Because the West claim that they do not like the Islamic ideology. They believe it's violent. They believe we're here to take over. The, we the Islamic uh, Muslim people don't like the West because of them attacking us. Because remember, we have all the major wars happen in the last 20 years in the Middle East and Muslim countries, yeah? Before 9-11... It's Western countries invading Muslims. When is the right. Western uh, Muslim countries invading right. us right. in the last 20 years? Right. Oh, we've invaded right. Iraq, we've invaded um, right. Libya, we've invaded yes. Afghanistan. Yes. Can't we, we support Israel. Yes. Yes. Who's the real Big up Israel. And, 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 and before the Iraqi invasion... And Palestine. Hold on. Before the Iraqi invasion, before the Afghani invasion, there was no suicide bombs. It didn't exist. Exactly. Muslims did not... 9-11 was a suicide bomb. 9-11 no, Before 9-11, oh, before, before Afghanistan, before Iraq, there was no suicide bombs. What's 9-11 then? It didn't exist before. I said was, you before. No, but Afghanistan happened I, after. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 9-11 is very questionable. No, 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 no this, is where, this is where you start. 9-11 This is where you start. Very this questionable. This is where we start getting because the problem. Because the plane, because of when, all the things they found in the plane, they found the passport. When we start hearing this, we found the Muslim man's passport. We start questioning you. We're like, all right, if you don't think it was done by Muslims 9-11, then I'm going to start questioning you. If you think 7-11, well, who done 7-11? Based on evidence. Who done 7-11? I, I don't know, mate. I'm just you talking about 9-11. I'm talking about 9-11. All right, so who done the Manchester bombing? I'm talking about 9-11. No, who done the Manchester bombing? Based on what the evidence that I have seen on 9-11, I feel like it's a pre-constructed, right, right, right. pre-planned, false flag well, attack. All right, so 7-11, who done 7-11? They use it to deflect them. No, 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 no we're not defending you. Are, you I'm asking a question because okay. of the same way I'm yeah? saying... The UK is not supposed to have high-tech security. I'm not supposed to have the MI15. How can they allow such terrorist group to perform such a huge bombing in such a huge stadium? I refuse to believe that the police didn't catch these people before they committed these attacks. So, so all right, all right. So the police are incompetent or maybe... By your logic, you're Sometimes trying to insinuate the that maybe they didn't happen. But I'm asking you, was it a Muslim guy that done the terrorist attack in Manchester? The same allegedly, way allegedly, yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. So if he was a true Muslim, he wouldn't have done that. All right, all right, but he was a Muslim. A, a corrupted Muslim. To be, a yeah. corrupted Muslim. The same way that this individual who done the terrorist attack in Thingy is a white person, but he's a corrupted white person. Do you person. think he's a corrupted white supremacist? Of course he's, he's evil so you're, shit. So you're saying they're illegitimate white supremacists? Oh, Ooh. don't. Just get yourself a United Ireland. Oh. Oh. Why can't you answer oh. my points? Oh. 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 There's no legitimate. Oh. There's, oh. no oh. there's no oh. legitimate. Oh. There's no oh. legitimate. Oh. See, it's a terminology. It's one way for white supremacy is bad. And being an yeah, Irish supremacist right. is bad as well. I don't think Irish right. he wants to live on United Ireland. So has that supremacy? Yes. He, don't, he doesn't think he's white. Yeah. He doesn't think he's white. I think he thinks he's some kind of new race. You're now right. You're lying. Irish, Irish, Irish race. Irish, 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 oh, Irish, Irish are not white. He's a pink as him. Who said that? I've never said that. Actually, he's more pink than him. Have I ever said that? I thought you was a ginger when I first met you. Have I ever said that? I'm white. I'm pink. You're lying through your teeth. I thought you was a ginger when I first met you. That's how white he was. You're lying. You're gonna have to get personal now. No, I'm just saying you look like a ginger. He does this because he's. So all right, so point. let's get back to the point here. So what I'm saying is that the best solution is that one thing I truly believe is that we need to start uniting and he's not gonna like this under our umbrella of being British as See? well, yeah. See? So See? what I'm right. saying is this so what I'm saying is this, look, I can condemn the colonial past. I'm actually doing a drawing, like I said before, about the Amritsar massacre where the British yeah, killed one thousand five hundred Sikhs. I'm talking about Sikhs and some Indians, we're unarmed, yeah? I'm doing a drawing of that and I condemn that and they're evil for doing that. And General Dyer, sorry, I don't condone violence, but let's just say he didn't last very long afterwards, yeah? Big up, Pultam Singh. Alright, so basically, yeah, I condemn that, but I still believe, yeah, in order for us to move forward as a, let's just say, all of these separate, disparate communities, we need to unite under the umbrella of something. And one of those things that we can unite under is being British. So if you're British, I'm British Punjabi Sikh, you know, you can, I'm not sure if you are, but um, you can be British, blah, 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 or British Somalian Muslim or British. Uh, Gujarati Hindu and all that kind of stuff. But you're asking yeah. people to betray all British and white, so, and so and so. He's and a white so guy. For me, being British doesn't mean anything. British. British. He's a citizenship. He's a white guy. I thought it was Hitler's son. <laughs> yeah, I'm not British. So basically, but uh, being British is just a citizenship. For but me, what I'm it doesn't saying mean to you is that me. I'm saying British, that but I'm more Muslim, more Arab. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not asking. I'm not asking you to put it into order. 
I'm not asking her. No, what I'm, I'm not putting it What order, I'm saying I'm to saying you is that if you if you don't have that component in there, like I truly believe you, this Raj that you see, you may hate me or like me, I don't give a shit. But this Raj is made up of three. I do love the hate. I do love skin. So basically, yeah, when it comes to um, you got a fat skin. No doubt about it. Do some weight. Right, right. That's the fat as well. That's the fat skin. I lost two and a half stones. Start losing weight. Any fatties out there? Yeah. So basically, yeah, I lost two and a half stones. So I can say it. So basically, yeah, when it comes to this situation, I'm a, I'm a, I'm British by nationality. Yeah. So there's certain things like my humour and stuff that is very British. Yeah. You have humour. <laughs> but then there's other, Have you seen that? There's other things that like being Not Punjabi. Very I'm very Punjabi in certain areas, yeah? And then I'm oh, Sikh in the other so. areas. Yeah, in terms of I'm Sikh by my faith and other stuff. So I'm a component of all three of these very disparate groups, yeah? So British, Punjabi, Sikh. And I truly believe that, you know, the narrative you can't be British is problematic. And I hear some people from different sides saying, the white people saying, white race saying, oh, you're Muslim, you can't be British. Yes. No, you can be British and you are British. And then no. you have, and then oh, you, oh no. As long as they, then as you long have, as they then you have some line, yeah? other indigenous say, like, say uh, extremist Muslims saying, no, you cannot have nationality and you can't be British. And both no, of them, both, but what happens? Right. getting off the subject here. Yeah. But what I'm saying, I'm trying to give subject. you a solution that, if we, if we, if we, the solution is to the West to stop attacking Muslims. Identity, Leave yeah. us alone. I, I think it cannot. That is the solution. Tell the West to stop invading Arab countries. To stop so killing Muslims. Let me just say one thing. If you have this united identity, what would happen is that it would be harder for somebody alone. to dehumanize somebody that see they see as a fellow citizen. Yeah. My, my, my view is this, that Europe has a problem, has always had a problem with minorities. If we go back in our history, look at the way we treated the Jews, going back in the Elizabethan times, we've had a problem with Catholics me, in the 19th yeah. century, uh, we've had a problem uh, uh, with uh, black uh, immigrants uh, in the 1950s and 1960s. Now uh, the big problem is the Muslims. Mm. And historically you've had problems. The way we dealt with the problem, the problem is goes from uh, peaceful tolerance to extermination on the other hand. Yeah. Extermination obviously in Germany and in other parts of the Eastern Europe to you know just about tolerance for other minorities. We've got a terrible track record yeah. when it comes to dealing with minorities. My people do things pretty crazy. So, so the question is, you know, just having just having a British identity, I think it's, uh, that is ideally a solution. I think it's a bit. I think it's a, it's it's a, a bit simplistic. It's, it's very simplistic. And it seems to be only. But sometimes the best solutions are simple. It, it only ever, it seems to me we only ever learn the lesson. So we only we only learn the lesson about how we treat Jews after we have a Holocaust. To, to wake us up to the problem. We only learn how to, to treat black people after, you know, a whole raft of, of you know, appalling cases co uh, come up and suddenly we realize what we've been doing. We, to, we always seem to learn the lesson the hard way. I don't know why we're like that. Maybe we're just stupid. But that's the, so my worry now is we've got to learn the lesson the hard way that we don't treat Muslims as, as this terrible, subversive, evil threat, which is your mate Tommy Robinson's line when he demonizes and hates us and creates this extremist narrative. Do we have to go through all over again, like we've done in the past with all these other minorities, but we realize actually Muslims are men and women and children who have jobs, they have their concerns. What are their concerns? They're about the education of the children, they're about paying the mortgage or not paying the mortgage. They're, they're about how to survive. It's about how to have a decent life. It's how we treat our neighbours. It's how we how we live our life. We have British people, white British people, have 90% in common with Muslims because we're all, wait for it, human beings living in the West. And we have to get on. We have the same problems about Brexit, about the bloody weather, um, about the price in Tesco's. It's all the same stuff we all have to deal with. Now, yes, Muslims are not going to drink alcohol down your local pub, but hey, neither a lot of Christians. A lot of Christians don't. Jehovah's Witnesses don't do that. The Sikhs don't do it. You know, there's, a, there's, a room for, there's room for tolerance here. But do we have to go through the same... Uh, catastrophes that we've been through before with the Jews and others before we learn they're actually were basically human we had those same uh, common experiences about bringing up our children about crime about knife crime about drugs about about you know uh, you know uh, what our children are exposed to at school in terms of the teaching about the weather about Brexit well, these are common things we, we share so much in common um, and Muslims are not looking to impose a caliphate on Britain right. or to bring in Sharia law whatever that no. means that, 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 is a, that is another false narrative, an extremist narrative well, to demonise, yeah. which Tommy Robinson is doing. So yeah. I, I'm saying is, maybe we're going to have to go it's through the pain okay. before we get through better times. Maybe at the, at the end of the day, we, your narrative will win out. But I think in the meantime, it's not enough because we've got Hope a lot of struggle to do. And we've got to, people go, like you need yeah. to disassociate, deputy, disassociate 
yourself it's it's and people like Tommy Robinson who are a far right extremist who are part of the problem if you want to be part of the problem the solution then get on the right side of the fence so now only Ali Diva has a tissue boy oh I'll make it when I got a tissue boy, that's for sure. So that, that's also, also the media. Oh, no, the media. Anyone want to buy it? No, this dude want to say something. This guy, media. Media. The guy is dressed unusually. Yes, tissue boy. He's going to be making cups of tea <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> and I noticed you said, um, yeah. we're all human. I know, it's a revolutionary statement. Are we? Am I? I thought I was the Terminator. You was pushing it. Yeah, I 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 was pushing it. Yeah, I